Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this video editing tutorial, we explain how to apply voice filters to videos. Here is a brief demonstration of what you will learn in this video tutorial. Namely, right now I will play my original video and you can listen to the audio and you can look over here at the video. I am Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, but you may address me as Emperor Nero. My contemporaries and some... Okay, so this is the original audio. Over here, I can easily change and add voice filters to this speech. For example, I can add high I'm pitch. I'm Caesar Augustus Germanicus, but you may address me as Emperor Nero. For example, you can have a high pitch over here and you can control the pitch by changing this value over here. Uh, my contemporaries and some historians did not perceive me positively. They accused me of starting the Great Fire of Rome in 64 AD. Over here, you also have some other filters. For example, if you, I'm click, you, Caesar Augustus Germanicus. If you click over here, you, you will have a megaphone where you can change the strength over here. So let's play it again. But you may address me as... Then you have also other... I am Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, but you may address me as... This is like an old person speaking, like a tremble. Then you can change... I am Claudius people. Caesar Augustus Germanicus. But you may address me as Emperor This is deep voice if you want to cover a voice of a person speaking. And you also have some other effects or voice filters, for example. I am this Claudius one. Caesar Augustus Germanicus, but you may address me as Emperor Nero. So here you have an effect as if person is speaking in a room, which is very, very useful effect. So you can see it again. It really looks like the person is speaking in a room. Then you have the synth effect. Yes, so all these effects are very useful and can you can create very amusing and very interesting videos by using very simple effects. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to activate and use these effects. Okay, let's start with explanations. The first step is to install CapCut if you don't have CapCut on your system. To do that, you need to go to this website and you need to click on download and the executable file will be downloaded. Then after that, simply go to the folder, double click over here and the installation process will start. You will be asked several questions. However, you're installing a free version so you don't need to enter the license. Good, after you install, CapCut, you need to run CapCut. The easiest way is to click on Start and search for CapCut. Click over here and you will see this main menu. Then click on Create Project and over here you need to import your video. To do that, simply click here, then search for the video that you want to import. In my case, I'm going to import this video and play over video over here to make sure that video works and that you're able to import it. Good. Next, click on a video over here, keep the left mouse clicked and drop the video over here. Now you can also see this slider and you can see the timeline. And if you move the timeline, you will get to a certain time instant in your video. For example, you can go over here and you can play the video. Okay, let's apply a filter to our speech. To do that, first of all, you need to extract audio. To extract audio, click on a video, do the right click and click on extract audio. Now you will see the audio over here. Here it is. Now what I like to do is first of all, to increase the volume of my video. So if I click here, you can see the volume over here and you can simply modulate it and you can simply, for example, increase the volume. I am Claudius. Now you can see that the volume is increased. Caesar Augustus Germanicus, but you may address me. This is very good. Okay, now let's apply filters. There are several ways to do that. The easiest way is to click here, click on voice changer and click over here on voice filter. And here you have several options. So let's test these options. For example, let's apply electronics. I am Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, but you may address me as Emperor Nero. My contemporaries and some historians. Over here you can adjust the strength. Did not perceive. 
Okay, then let's try some other things such as echo. I will gladly receive such as Augustus Germanicus, but you may address me as Emperor Nero. My contemporaries and some historians. Can you have, for example, echo? You can also have megaphone. I am Gladius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, but you may. Then you can have some other things such as deep voice. I am Gladius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, but you may address me as Emperor. And over here you can adjust the pitch. Nero. And you can adjust this timber. My contemporaries. And you also have some other options over here, such as big house. I am Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, but you may... For example, this person can be speaking in a big hall or something like that. And over here you also have some other options. However, these are the pro options where you need to basically... I am Claudius Caesar Augustus... Basically, you probably need a license. I still didn't test them and I didn't test if you can actually use them. Okay, now let's use this, for example, another option such as, for example, Synth, which is... This sounds like some church, church way of speaking or something like that. Good. Okay, now we know how to apply voice filters. However, the next question is how to export this video in this changed form. To export the video, you need to find this export button and to click here. And over here you have to do several adjustments. First of all, you need to give the name to your video. I will call the video changed voice. Then over here you have an option to choose the resolution. You can even go with 4K, which is very advanced and high resolution. Then you have some beat rate to adjust so you can have higher or lower beat rate. Let's select the recommended. You have the codec. Don't play with the codec, use the default options, and you have the format. You have MP4 or movie, and you have the frame rate. This original video is done with 30 frames per second, so I'd adjust you to keep the original frame rate. And over here you have the audio, and the audio basically can be any of these forms. So what will happen right now, we are going to export the video, and inside the audio will be embedded. However, in addition to that, you will automatically export the audio file. Okay, this is very important. In addition, you can also export GIF files. However, we are not going to do that for a second. And let's click here on export. Let's see what will happen. Now the video will be processed. And you can see the size, you can see duration, you can see all the other things. And let's just be patient over here. Click here on cancel since you don't want to do that. And that's it. We are currently done. Now we, let's find the video and let's find the folder. My video is located over here and I have two files. This file is actually the video. Oh, you can see how nicely it is, how everything is changed and looks really amazing. And over here you can see the audio file. This is really amazing. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like the video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, you're invited to check my other videos. Besides this video, I have more than 700 free video tutorials on my YouTube channel. And you can check all sorts of videos. You have machine learning, robotics, audio editing, video editing, and similar videos. Okay, that's all for today and see you in the next video tutorial.